Let's go. It felt like something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it. Better leave it here. Other travelers might need it. Better leave it here to remind all Bone Town tourists of the beauty of Lafitte Park. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan? That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? For the anniversary of my father's disappearance. Today it's ten years exactly. There's always a good reason to stay at the Dead Man Inn of Bone Town. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Kid, if you don't want to stay in the lobby, I suggest you take the key. As you can see, it's hanging beside me. Thanks for the tip.
Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. If I take it down, the innkeeper would surely notice. It's locked. Those eyes make me feel quite uncomfortable. I don't need it. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. I'd rather admire it on this wall. Locked. There's no need to take it with me. I want the other guests to enjoy these works as well. I'd rather leave it where it is. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. I can't open it. It's locked. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. First I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me, I can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? <clears throat> okay, thank you. Um... locked.
Oh my god. And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? I think I left the door open and a boar did the rest. It wouldn't be the first time those animals have made trouble here at the Dead Man Inn. But according to you, is such a thing actually possible? Forget it. So how did this happen, in your opinion? I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? Yes, I always travel with a gold bar. Yes, of course. And do you usually leave it in hotel rooms as a tip? I am extremely generous. I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. <laughs> I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Actually, I just wanted to stay for tonight. It'd be enough if you returned the money I already gave you. Boy, don't push it. That is my offer. Take it or leave it. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. I'd rather not touch that substance. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. And you have all the services of the Dead Man Inn at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the Do Not Disturb. What's the Do Not Disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, Do Not Disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Thanks, very useful. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position on don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem, it speeds up my movement. But climbing really slows me down. Thanks, that seems clear to me. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> locked. Let's see if I can. Done. This sign is useless now. I'd rather not take it with me.
The things I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this stink. I'd rather not touch that substance. Just how I pictured it. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. And now something classy. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. Can't open it, it's locked. What now? Oh, that must be the new guest. I saw straight away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance. I'd rather... This is my chance. Locked. Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. At last! I don't trust taking them. There's the chance they could have been eaten by mice, the owner of the place, or the cleaning lady. In any of the three cases, I don't want to take them with me. Everything starts there, in the warmth of a friendly place. I think my father meant warmth in a literal sense. Perhaps he hid something in the fireplace. Let's try searching there. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others, but I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. I need something to grab hold of the cracks. Tough luck! Fate really doesn't want me to take a shower or a bath. Look what's inside. Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could come in handy. I can't do this. Maybe the temperature variations made it stick. I need some help. I can't do this. Maybe the temperature variations made it stick. I need some help. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever, a niche. Let's see what's inside. 
It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? After this amazing night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue. I'd rather not touch that substance. Good morning, good sir. Good morning. How was your night? There were moments I thought I wouldn't survive. Then I saw a ray of light and realized that the worst was over. These are just some of the thrills you can experience here at the Dead Man Inn. What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? I remember when I used to come here that it was a nice little town. I think it's just progress. The young prefer to go try their luck elsewhere, apart from a few exceptions. It's just down to us from the older generation to keep up the honor of Bone Town by welcoming the incoming tourists with love and professionalism. I'd have to dispute that, actually. <sighs> Is the public library still there? Sure, boy. It's one of the crown jewels of Bone Town. At least it is according to what Margaret, our librarian, tells us. I'm simply reporting what's said because I personally never go to such places. Strange. I would have bet the opposite. Could you tell me where it is? Turn left at the main square, just outside the door. Boy, if you don't want to get lost, use this. It's an old Bone Town postcard, but it was used as a tourist map during the Golden Years. It could be of use to orient yourself and move around Bone Town. Thank you. Are you interested in something in particular? Just to reminisce a little bit. My father used to take me there all the time. Thanks, and goodbye. <laughs> Better leave the key here. I don't know if I'll want to avail myself of this service again tonight. There you go. Now I can leave.